I don't know though, something about it isn't clicking. Hi, David B here, singer, songwriter, and vocal coach, and I'm reacting to performances from The Voice Nigeria season four. Let's go. She's killing me already. <laughs> There's just something about it that's solid. Like, you know when you hear a singer and you just know, like, you can sing. You might not be doing a lot, but I know that you can sing. She's giving me that vibe. Like, everything just sounds very intentional. Plus, her tone is nice. Like, she doesn't have a quirky voice or a distinct voice. But it's it's caught me. Um, it's simple yet interesting and piercing as well. See, I'm not trying to do what everybody else doing. Yeah, playing around with the articulation, kind of giving it that sort of lazy vibe, and then as she's descending in her register, she's kind of like giving it that richer sound that's a bit darker just cause everybody doing what they all do if one thing i know i'll fall but i'll grow i'm walking down this road of mine this road that i go i'm so in my thinking that i could be something for real yeah real yeah i like that I don't know though, something about it isn't clicking um, in this like middle part. Is it the song? Is it the music? Is she okay? <laughs> Is she comfortable? Did she pick the song? I don't know. There's just something about it that seems kind of disconnected. But then this is how you know an amazing singer. Even outside of that, I have absolutely no doubt that she's a beast. I can just hear it. Hope I hope I don't look back. Always do what God decides. Don't worry, I'm not alone. That's just how I feel. Oh, far from mine, I won't let go. Won't let them compare me, no. Uh, Niola's like, uh, probably feeling the same thing I'm feeling. Something ain't quite right and I can't put my finger on it. Um, maybe because I just can't get past the fact that I like she's dope. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not alone. That's just how I feel. I'm not around. Yeah, yeah. Trying to reach the things that I can see. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm not alone. Thinking that I would be something for real. Yeah. Okay, so maybe something I'm feeling is like the repetition I mean the song doesn't seem super interesting in terms of melodically and so her kind of like repeating that yeah yeah like playing around those notes I am kind of like getting tired like my ears are kind of like give me more give me more give me more because I know that you can do more I can hear that you can do more um so, I mean, this is why I wish I had some, like, inside gist. Like, did she pick the song? Did she pick the key? Did she like the song? You might like the song, but the song don't like you. <laughs> um, yeah, there's just something. I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be, like... I, I said I was going to be more analytical, and here I am. Just spilling opinion. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that crack. 
But it don't matter. She's good. That's the thing about the voice as an instrument. It's inside your body, right? So whatever happens to your body is going to most likely compromise your vocal state in that period. So it doesn't mess with your vocal ability because if you're good, you're good. Um, But in terms of your state in that very moment, if you've got a cough, yeah, it's probably going to affect your voice and probably not allow you to be as expressive as you want. I am glad that she did go for that note and was able to kind of like maneuver and navigate through that, even through the crack. Plus, I didn't feel like the crack was actually that bad. Um, So, yeah. Mm. Well, I can tell you, Deborah, you're definitely not wrong for being on The Voice Nigeria tonight. Please come stand beside me, Coach Niola. Hmm. Hi, Deborah. Hi. I don't know. She's also giving me that vibe of, yeah, I know. I know. I know I could have killed this, but I didn't for whatever reasons. Like, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from her demeanor. Well done, first of all. Thank you. That's not an easy song to sing. I particularly like the fact that you stay in the areas where you're strong. You know how to use your voice. There's a difference between having a voice and knowing how to sing. You know how to sing. And this is the voice. I agree. There's something about her approach and delivery that just... I guess from singer to singer, I just know that she knows what she's doing. And that being said, I didn't, I don't think that you gave your best. I think that there's more that you could have done. Okay, so I'm agreeing with Neola on this one. <laughs> like literally word for word. But at the same time, I think you did great. And um, well done. Thank you. Coach Wajay. Yes. I'd like to know your thoughts about Deborah's performance tonight. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? I'm fine. Great. I love this thing that you do when you sort of make a song feel very ethnic and indigenous, you know, because that's not a Nigerian song, but you kind of brought the Niger flavor with your slurs that I enjoyed, I liked. I also agree that I that you should have maybe opened up a little more with the song, but it was a great performance for me. And you know Thank that you. I have your back. I'm going to, I'm just going to continue to push you. You understand what I mean? So thank you for being an amazing artist and talent that you are. Okay. Thank you. Ma. Great. So please tell us your decision. Is she safe or she's going to the danger zone? Hmm. This is a tough one for me because I know that Debbie has more. I know that she has more, but I also know that I don't have that much spot to fill. So it, 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 it's fair that I listen to other talents to give them a fair chance. To be fair, <laughs> that's a tough one, actually. Um... And I can feel Wadji's like dilemma right there, where it's like, I know you're good, but based on this performance, it wasn't strong enough for me to save you without giving myself the opportunity to hear what's coming. Um, I, yeah, someone's probably gonna steal her anyway. Like she's, she's good. If nobody steals her, then I'm going to be throwing some punches. Um, Yeah, because she's good. You can just hear it, man. Uh, This this, this, this one is um, tough for me. For now, let me trust my gut. You're in the danger zone. It's fair. Understandable. I'm so sorry, Debbie. So sorry, you're in the danger zone. Thank you very much. She's headed to the danger zone. You have a chance to steal. Stolen! Okay, um, I think I'm team Neola today. Uh, 
Yes, right decision, Neola. Yeah. Yes. That was good. That was a good move. That was necessary. That was necessary. You can't let someone like that go. No, not that easily. I told you. I know how to identify your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? Are yeah. you happy? Super happy. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Congratulations. Do you Congratulations. Want to I believe in you. So. Okay, so based on that performance, I'm going to score Debbie a six and a half. Um, not based on what I can hear that she can do, just, I don't know, the song choice. I don't know. There was just something not quite... Mm, mm, mm. Like, at this point, it's the knockouts, right? Like, no experimentation here. You want to come guns blazing, doing what's comfortable, what you know. Like, you've done it, done it, done it. You know that this is it. This is going to, like, finish everybody. But then again, all these factors, who knows what they're going through behind the lights and the cameras. So, I understand that too. Um, but yeah, uh, six? Did I say six? Did I say six and a half? Can't remember. I think I said six and a half. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed watching that and you want to see more stuff like it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything. I'll see you next time.